Shining for Him team, Erica here with our Tuesday team training, all about our SPF, our Summer Protection Factor. And we're gonna start off with bookings because if you don't have bookings, you don't really have a business. So let's talk about how we can get bookings in the summer. Because I know for my family, a little extra in the summer means a lot. It means we can do that extra trip to the water park or maybe a fun evening getting ice cream or snow cones every little bit counts so why not think about a couple nights in the summer that you can invest in your business bless your family and bless others at the same time so let's look at question six on our spf quiz i inform my hostess of all the benefits for her and her friends now are you telling them about everything not only are you going to provide for them a fun night where they can laugh and enjoy and get away for a little while but you're also going to bless them with incredible offers and gifts booking gifts, half price, free, specials, possibly sales. You have extra things to offer her guests with our guest specials each month. So they're gonna get something too. And of course, I'm sure you bring some kind of little prize or giveaway, and you can make that special by tying it with a little piece of tool or putting it in a bag with some tissue paper. It doesn't have to be expensive to be fun. Go to the dollar store and stock up on some fun summer things that you can give away. Now, number two, I am planning to have summer fun. Are you planning to have summer fun? Because I sure am. I love summer with a less um, chaotic, planned out schedule where I can just enjoy lingering, okay? But what makes it fun for gatherings are themes. Have you thought about some themes that would be fun? If not, here are a few ideas. An ice cream party, a flip-flop party, a barbecue, a tea party, 4th of July party, a shorts party where everybody wears shorts and you're there for a short time. You can tell them I'll be in and out in 45 minutes. Themes are awesome because they create a buy-in for the guests and the hostess because they're planning it around something. So here's what's a really great idea is that when you are inviting them to a theme party, for example, let's use an ice cream party. You put on the invitation, you're invited to my ice cream social. Please bring with you one jar of cherries. If you're unable to make it, please let the hostess know by this date. Now, what does that do? It gives her something that she needs to bring and creates an accountability for her to come. And if she can't come, it gives her that opportunity to RSVP and let the hostess know so the hostess know who's coming and who's not. So the hostess is gonna maybe provide the bananas and the ice cream, and then you ask all the different guests to bring different toppings. So it makes it fun for you. It makes it a buy-in for the guests. It's something they're looking forward to. And also lets the hostess know who all's planning to be there. All right, now, the, the question number 14 says, um, I reserve Facebook and catalog parties for those who live too far to host or those who have already hosted live gatherings. Why is it important that they've already seen the product in person before they host online or on a catalog party? Because the quality of our products must be felt and touched to be appreciated. So if somebody's never seen or touched it, they're not going to know what amazing pieces we have. Maybe perhaps they live too far away and that's the only option you can offer. Well, of course you wanna offer that, but don't offer it as a first resort to those who live close enough for you to book with live and to gather with live. Remember, live gatherings are the solid foundation of your business. They're kind of like that ice cream of that ice cream sundae. You could go without all the sprinkles and cherries. We don't wanna go without those, but you've gotta have the ice cream. If you just had sprinkles and cherries and whipped cream, you wouldn't have a Sunday, okay? So the sprinkles, cherries, and whipped cream are our flash sales, they're our catalog parties, they're our you know, extra orders that just come in, but they're not the bulk of our business. Now, I want you to also think about times women are naturally gathering in the summer. Maybe they have a lunch break. Maybe they go somewhere right after work. Think about that because sometimes ladies don't wanna go home and get back out. So you meet them maybe at their lunch or at their happy hour or at their restaurant right after um, work where they're meeting for dinner already. So don't limit your business by limiting your options. Um, sometimes people will need to meet in the morning, the noon or the evening. Um, think about patios, lunches, pools, parks, restaurants, reunions, bridal showers, campgrounds. Go where the people are. They're out. They're about. You go and join them and bring Mary and Martha with you. Now, of course, we can't have a training without a challenge. So here's your challenge. 
I want you to think about a theme that gets you excited, something that you can just rack your brain around and get creative and let those creative sparks fly. So is that an ice cream party? That might be for you. Maybe it's a flip-flop party where everybody gets to pay, bring a pair of flip-flops and either trade or maybe you decorate them with ribbon. What party would be fun for you? Because if you think it would be fun, you're gonna be excited and that enthusiasm is gonna come across to others. If you think it's boring, they're gonna think it's boring. So here's the thing. Think of a theme that's exciting to you. Then make a list of 10 to 12 people that you know would be super excited about that party. So maybe you have a workout group. Maybe you go to workout and you see the same ladies every day and you've never invited them to something with Mary and Martha. Well, they might enjoy a salad party. So why not provide the lettuce and the bowls and ask them to each bring a topping? Think about people who would enjoy the same theme as you and make that list. You can either use that as a list to invite them to your home or you could use that list even better to ask them about hosting. Hey, have you ever thought about hosting a salad party? Or have you ever thought about having an ice cream social? I think it would be super fun and we can even bless you with some rewards at the same time. Let's get our girlfriends together. So I want you to think about this and I want you to post it to the team page. What theme gets you excited? And then you don't have to give us all of your 10 to 12 names, but just put a little check mark. Once you have your list of 10 to 12 names, and you've contacted them about having that type of theme gathering. We want you to have a fun summer. We want the summer to bless you and we want it to prepare the way for an incredible and amazing fall. So I hope this has been beneficial and I hope you have a terrific Tuesday.